So here's a device that I created a few years back. Now, don't try this at home because it can be very, very, very dangerous. Electricity in the house has enough energy to uh, stop your heart. It's not something to play around with. Do not try this at home without having some sort of responsible adult um, do this for you because it's just, it's just too dangerous. But basically, I've got a plug attached to two nails. And when I plug this in, electricity will be waiting to go. It'll be ready to go between these two points. And if I were to connect a light bulb in there, the light bulb would light up. But I'm not going to connect the light bulb. What I'm going to connect is a hot dog. Now, I've got to make very sure that I don't have this plugged in when I'm touching this. Because if, it, if I have it plugged in, I could get hurt very badly, possibly get electrocuted. But what I want to do is try to electrocute this hot dog. Now, it may take a little while for the electricity to pass through, and um, it's going alternating currents going back and forth through there from one pole to the other, from one nail to the other, and eventually um, the hot dog will begin to heat up. So it's been going on for a little bit of time, maybe a minute or so, and we can start to see over here some juice is starting to come out of the hot dog. It's starting to um, drip. It's heating up and cooking. Now it's only cooking between those two poles, between those two um, nails there, and the ends are actually getting very little electricity. They're not, electricity's not traveling through it, so the ends end up being kind of cold, which is kind of um, interesting. But the hot dog is resisting the flow of electricity You think it's done? Yes, we are electrocuting the hot dog. Now, I'm going to go ahead and... Whoops, is it sparking there on the end? I'm going to go ahead and unplug it and make sure that it's unplugged before I touch this at all. Whoa! That is really hot. But it's only cooked in the middle. The ends are not cooked. The ends are actually just slightly warm. But the middle... Whoa! Definitely cooked. So once again, I'm going to make sure that it's unplugged. I put that there to make sure that I know that it's unplugged. And hot, 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 hot. That's a good dog. Oh, yeah. Nice electrocuted hot dog. Okay. Well, you may be asking, what else can we electrocute? Let's try this. How about a pickle? Hope my pickle's long enough. Just barely. All right, let's see what happens when we plug it in now. Okay, it's on. What's going on? What's happening? Uh oh.
came apart. Unplugged. Let's try another one. Let's see if I can find a slightly longer one. Char pickles. See what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try bending this nail in a little bit. Bending this nail in a little bit and sticking it right like that. All right. Try that again. And we're plugged in. Electricity is flowing through. The pickle is resisting the flow of electricity. Turn off these lights. And that's how you electrocute a pickle. Unplugging. Like I said, this could be deadly if you're not careful. This is not something to play with at home. Now this is not a new idea of using electricity to, um, to uh, electrocute or cook by letting the electricity flow through the substance. Back in the 1960s, Presto made this hot dogger. And it's basically to do the exact same thing I just did, but in a slightly more safe way. Notice the plug goes into here and the two wires end up going, I'm not sure if you can see inside of there. One wire goes into here and one wire goes into here. And when we put this thing together, this will plug into here and that will plug into there. And so there'll be electricity ready to go down these two pieces of metal on the side. When we put a hot dog in between, we'll complete the circuit. So what you do is you take your hot dog and just skewer it on the end. This allows those ends to get cooked a little bit better. And you can do up to six hot dogs. Now with, oops, broke that one. Now with this device, you don't have to worry about getting electrocuted because there's no way electricity can go through this until you put this cover on. And so you can't touch that once the cover's on. So you place that on there and then you plug it in. So now the electricity's flowing through the wires, into those two pegs, going down these two metal pieces, and going through the hot dogs. Well, it takes about a minute or a minute and a half. You can sort of go ahead and see some steam starting to form. We can So you can see it's steaming up. You can hear a little sizzling sound. And as soon as I lift it up, the electricity is disconnected and it stops. But we can see that those hot dogs are definitely getting cooked. They're being electrocuted. 
They're resisting the flow of the electricity going through them. And they're getting heated up due to electrical resistance. Let's electrocute them a little bit more. Should probably be about enough. Ah, uh, the aroma of electrocuted hot dogs. Woo! And there you go. That's how you use this device to electrocute your hot dogs.